Hello everyone, happy new year. Well, I'm counting down my top 10 favorites. This is both beauty and lifestyle. I also have some more top 10 videos coming that I'll break out into other categories, but I usually do favorites, beauty and lifestyle together, which basically is any beauty product, makeup, TV shows, things like that. What I have tried to do, I think the last couple years, and I'll link those other videos below if you're curious, I've really tried to just talk about things I discovered in the previous year, not like just of all time. So that's why the list, you know, is a little more condensed and top 10 and things that I just started trying. So if I don't talk about something, it doesn't mean necessarily that I don't like it anymore. It's just, I've already been using it for a couple of years. So let's get started. Um, the first product I'm gonna talk about, I've only been using a few months, but I had to talk about because it it's made such a big difference, I feel like. That is the Hourglass um, Mineral Veil, is that what it's called? Or Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I have you guys to thank for this. So thank you so much for the recommendation. I had spoken about setting powders and looking for a new one in a vlog a few months back of just saying, you know, I really love the Laura Mercier translucent powder. That's like still probably one of my all time favorites, but sometimes it can look a little cakey and settle in fine lines. I have certain problem areas around my chin and things. So I still love that one, but I was just looking for something different. So you guys recommended two, and this was one of them. I actually use both usually, but I absolutely love this. Now, some of you may like this more as like a finishing powder, but I actually, you know, press it into my skin with a big brush like I do any other loose powder and I have just absolutely loved it. It's really made a difference in my makeup. Now as the day goes on I will notice I look a little more glowy. It's not necessarily oily or anything so if you don't like that you may want to take a more matte powder and just like touch up but I absolutely love this so much. So again thank you guys so much for recommending it. This is definitely one of the top purchases you most love for 2019. I think when I wrote these down, I was just kind of, um, they were in no particular order, so I'm just gonna go in the order that I had them written down. The next one would be the Colleen Rothschild. This is the Matcha Tea Treatment Toner. This is actually my second bottle, and I actually have another one waiting. Um, I really like this. I like it because it's very calming. I have very sensitive, reactive skin, and I really do feel like this calms it down sometimes. I probably use it more in the evening, after I take off my makeup, but I will use it in the morning as well. I just, I don't know, like I said, it just feels very calming. I haven't always used a toner over the years. I kind of go back and forth. A lot of them dry my skin out or, you know, like I said, things irritate it, but I have really, really loved this one. Now, I believe I started using this in 2019. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure, so that's why I included it. This is the Drunk Elephant. This is the Proteiny. I have repurchased this countless times. Um, I have a backup of this too. Like pretty much anytime there's like a Sephora sale, I will buy like a couple of them. And I actually have the little um, small set too that I can take some of this out and put it in for travel, which is great. And I recommend that set. If you're wanting to try Drunk Elephant, there's a lot of small sets, but if it's still available, it was in my gift guides. Um, I think it's called The Littles. It has pretty much almost like all of their popular products in there. It's a great way to try the brand. But I absolutely love this. It does have the top where you just squeeze. I remember years and years ago, I used to use a Kate Somerville moisturizer that had one of these tops. So it's really great to just get the right amount of product out. But I really like this because again, I have sensitive skin. You know, I'm 46, so I have drier skin than I used to, but it's still very combination kind of in the T-zone. And I just like this because it just feels very nice all over. It was funny when I first tried this, um, no kidding, and it was probably about a year ago, I would say about this time or a little later, I was still using the CeraVe. And when I first tried this, the consistency of this reminded me of the CeraVe. And I'm thinking, God, for like, this price tag, am I getting the same thing? But over time I noticed um, I liked this more. So it, it kind of beat out the CeraVe. So if you're thinking the same thing, if you've ever tried both and you're like, man, those seem really similar. What's the hype about this? This one I just feel like gives more benefits and I definitely stay uh, more evenly moisturized throughout the day using this one. So basically it has um, peptides, growth factors, um, amino acids, things like that. Um, I'll put the link for all the products I'm talking about below and you can read up on them as far as like all the good benefits of everything. All right, the Olaplex shampoo. This is the shampoo and the conditioner. 
I resisted the hype on this for a very long time, but let me tell you the hype is real, especially if you have dry hair, maybe you have processed hair, blonde hair, you don't need to have blonde hair, but I especially think it's good for over-processed hair, dry hair. This stuff is great and you need a very little amount. So yes, it is expensive, but it's extremely concentrated. So a little goes a long way and it does lather up, which I love because it's just one of those things makes me feel like, you know, I like to scrub my head when I am washing my hair. I absolutely love this. Um, if you follow my gift guide, you saw that I purchased the little travel size at Christmas. It was great because it comes with four products in there. Um, I guess they have an oil out too that is supposed to be amazing. I would really love that because I wanna try that for like kind of just smoothing down the hair after styling. Um, but they had, I had tried the step, I guess it would be the step three, the before shampoo, um, quite a while before trying this. And I really loved that product as well. These are amazing. My hair definitely feels smoother, um, softer, shinier, you know, all the great benefits we all want. I definitely notice it from this system. All right, the London Town Nail Polishes. I have absolutely loved these. Last year, they contacted me, or nice enough to send me some polishes. Do you wanna try these out? And one color in particular I was really drawn to, so I was like, sure. But I've actually really liked them, and they've sent me some, I've purchased some. I do have a discount code with them. I will link it below. I don't have my nails painted right now because I just took off this beautiful red color after Christmas. This seriously is one of the most perfect reds I've ever seen, especially for like, you know, if you have lighter to medium skin tone, this is beautiful. And what I love about their polishes, not only are they nine free, so they're free of like all harsh chemicals and things like that, they will last like, you know, a week or more. So it's almost like a gel manicure cure. On me, they definitely last a week. Some of you, they may last even more. This color in particular is called Double the Deck. Love it. If you follow me on Instagram, I've shown it there. A lot of you ask me what my favorites are. I have this on my toes. This is Lady Luck, so it's just like a deeper burgundy red. The key component, I think, because you can use this with other polishes, is the um, Gel Genius Top Coat absolutely love this. This has definitely become my favorite top coat. I use it with everything. Love that. A couple of lighter colors if you're interested. Um, this is Afternoon Tea, beautiful pink, and Murray Me. This is a great color. And then two new ones I have not gotten a chance to use yet. Bell in Time and Buckingham Blue. So this is a really beautiful navy. Again, I haven't tried it yet, but what I love about their website is I feel like the colors look really true. So look how pretty that is. I haven't had a navy in years. Do you guys remember that gorgeous Dior polish that was a navy? I may still have that, but I haven't used it. And then this one was kind of like a purpley brown. Again, this one is bell in time. And I'll put the names of these down below in case you're interested in a specific color, but Jeff, definitely check out the website. They have gorgeous colors. I've just really liked these. All right, I couldn't make this video without talking about the Coach Cassie bag. I will insert a picture here. I did put it up because I haven't used it um, since we left for vacation at Christmas. I was like, okay, I need to put it up and use some different bags because I have seriously not stopped using it except for like here or there just switching out into something a little different, but like my everyday main bag since I purchased this in July. No kidding. Hands down, one of my favorite bags. It is made so well. Um, people have asked me about like, how do I think about it compared to the Louis Vuitton, the Pochette Matisse. Um, honestly, because of all the issues the Pochette Matisse has had, the coach bag is better made, I feel like. I hate to say that. Some of you will be like, oh, but it, you know, it's true. It depends probably on which one you get. I have the leather plus the canvas. I will insert a video here. I did a little like what's in my bag review. I've had people comment on that video saying, okay, do you still like it? Yes, and it's held up beautifully. Now, for some of you that don't know, I actually had the Pochette Matisse several years ago and it had a flaw. Looking back on it, I probably just should have kept it, but it kind of, I was filming a video on it when I noticed it and then I couldn't quit noticing it. So I was like, oh, I'll send it back and just get an exchange. Well, that's when like it blew up, it seemed like, and you couldn't get one. Well, I've had my hands on it two other times since, like um, I think one in St. Thomas and one somewhere else maybe. Had the opportunity to buy it again and it was just like, 
I don't know, something about it. I do love the neutral of that bag. And of course it comes in other colors, but um, I'm telling you, if you wanna save money and get the same feel and functionality, get the coach and it comes in other colors as well. I'm seriously th thinking about getting another one. For the price point, you cannot beat it. That has really been one of my favorite, favorite bags. I love it. Um, again, it's kind of a take on one of their original um, kind of style bags like that from many, many years ago. All right, the Billy Razor. I don't think I've ever spoken about this or if I did, it was briefly. I have used the Billy Razor since, I know I had it when we went to the beach in June. So I've been using it at least since you know, June of 2019, if not, you know, a little bit before. I absolutely love this razor. I had seen promos for it. It's like one of those things on the internet, you know, little pictures will pop up. You see it a few times, you see it a few times. Well, then I started hearing about it a little bit more. And what resonated with me, and it may with you, like I have very fair skin, but I have very coarse like leg hair and it grows back like within a day or two. So like you have to shave your legs constantly or you see it. This razor definitely, I don't have to shave as often and it's great for sensitive skin. It has like, I didn't bring it in here because it's in the shower, but it has that little magnetic piece that I'm telling you, you wouldn't think that is great, but that's like one of the best things about it. You put that magnetic piece up in your shower and you just click your razor to it. It's amazing. And I love that you get this beautiful presentation of packaging when it comes in the mail and you're like, there's no way they can charge this low amount for this beautiful packaging, you know? I mean, just the all every little detail that they think of and it comes in pretty colors and I'm telling you that is worth every penny and I mean, it's only like $9 anyway and then you get refills sent to you. It asks you like how often do you shave and they will automatically send you refills based on how often you shave. It is great. It is definitely one of the best things I purchased in 2019 and I think that it just started blowing up so much that I thought, well, surely y'all have heard about it. I know I shouldn't assume that because I don't know who you guys follow, but um, I think I just started hearing about it so much that I just was like, well, you know, I don't need to bring this up because everybody's heard about it so much. But if you have not purchased the Billy Razor, I highly recommend it. It will change the shaving game. I personally don't love the shaving cream. I know a lot of people do. It's like a shaving lotion. I didn't love that as much, so I still use my original, but I know a lot of people do like that, but the razor, awesome. All right, I've fallen back kind of in love. When I first got this, um, YSL sent the whole range of colors in a PR package, like uh, 2018, I think, or something to me at some point. Well, I have repurchased this now because I have fallen in love with it and found a way that it worked for me. This is the YSL All Hours Foundation. I am in the color B30, and I typically will mix this with the It Cosmetic CC Cream. But I wanted to talk about this because I've used the CC cream for years and this was definitely a favorite and my most worn foundation of 2019. I just really like the coverage and the staying power. It does not settle into fine lines and wrinkles, but I found I needed a little bit more color correction that I get from the It CC cream um, because foundations are so tricky and you know, if you're self tanning, you're like me, it's like one day, you know, you may need a little bit different color. I like mixing foundations anyway, honestly, because I just find that the formula and the colors work better for me that way. But this foundation, if you have not tried it, it's a great foundation. It does not irritate my skin. Uh, just really like this. All right, two more products. The next one would be the American Eagle Mom Jeans. I feel weird calling them mom jeans, but that's what they are. I have not found a pair that I like better than this. I mean, they just fit everybody different. I know, so, you know, you can find some all different places. They are not the most flattering ever, that is for sure. But they are definitely the most comfortable and you can style them that makes them work. There's a few different reasons why I like them. Um, I sized down one because of the stretch. And you guys know I love American Eagle anyway. And they come with different styles, but this particular style I have, I love. It is so comfortable. The denim, the wash, seriously feels like something you've had for years and years and years. Like, you know, your favorite denim that just doesn't wear out and it's gotten so soft. It has just the right amount of distressing. They do have some with zero distressing. And I love the length of these. It is a perfect length for all kinds of shoes. 
I just really love these and I find myself wanting, wanting to put them on like all the time. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably do think I wear them all the time because it seems like I was constantly posting pictures or here's my outfit in these jeans again. I wore them recently to travel on the airplane back from Florida at Christmas. They were so comfortable. I just really love them. So um, they have recently been for a couple months a bestseller with you guys as well. So you guys must be loving them too. They again come in like white and other um, colors and finishes and more distress and less. But these jeans hands down have been one of my all time favorites and definitely ever since I purchased them, like I can't get enough of them. All right, last thing is in the lifestyle category and that is a TV show. I feel like we didn't have a lot of TV shows we loved. Probably if I look back on the monthly favorites, you know, I had things here and there, but we really got into um, Bosch. I talked to you guys about Bosch in a favorites video, I'm sure, and definitely on Instagram, I talked to you about it. Currently, we are in season four, I believe. Season four, because what, there's six, so we have two more, I think. Um, and I don't think they start filming again until like May or something, but anyway, I'm a little stuck in season four, to be honest. It's not been my favorite. It's a little slower. And we keep Bosch right now until there's nothing else on. Because, you know, there's that lull of TV shows go on hiatus. So, but I'm telling you, that series was like right up our alley. What I said, you know, reminded us of things we liked, like that good binge worthy of like how 24 was. We loved 24, if you ever watched that. Dexter. Things like that that you're just like... Every episode is like something new or something. You know, it just, I don't know, it just sucks you in. Marnie, Miss Gold Girl, thank you. I've thanked her before, mentioned her. She's the one that brought it up or I would have never known about it. And so many of you said um, that you watched it too and loved it. So that is a great one. If you're needing a TV show to watch, um, I think it's on Amazon, not Netflix, but it's a great one. So let me know in the comments what you guys were loving for 2019. If you purchased any of these products that anything I've recommended or anything I spoke about here and you're loving them as well, I would love to know that. Thank you guys so much for an awesome year and hanging in there with me and watching my videos and supporting me. I really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.